Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you, Janet? Ay, maldita, quizás solo le voy a leer, este, me va a dar permiso salirme. Ah. Solo le voy a leer la tarea, a ver si está bien. Ok. Y me voy a salir porque me siento un poco mal. Vaya, está bien, no se preocupe. Vaya, entonces vamos a iniciar con ello. Uh -huh. Ok, so let me just share the... Ok, sorry. Let me share the map with you. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And how are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. Okay. Very good. Yes. Ok, good so... Evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. How about you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Okay. Hi, good evening. <coughs> Vaya, permítanme, lo voy a compartir. Compartir, sorry, ahorita el mapa of what we were studying yesterday. Because we are going to check your homework. So, Janet, let's begin with you. Yes, yes teacher. Yeah. Number one, is there a bank near here? Yes, there is. Isn't next to a princess grocery store? It is. No. It, it is. It, it is. It is. Uh -huh. Next to? Next to? A princess grocery store. Prince grocery Prince. store. Okay, Prince. thank you. Uh, negative. No, there isn't, but there is one across from uh, Kim Plaza. Okay, excellent. Let's see the second example. Mm -hmm. Hotel on the Pine Street. O sea, sería que está sobre la calle de Pin Strip. Ok. Ok. Number two. Is there a coffee shop near here? Yes. There is. Is it one, one ox next to uh, ja, ja, Jameson Hotel? Okay, there uh, is one. There is one. Next to? Uh -huh. Jamison Hotel, okay. See, si. yes. Uh, no, there isn't, but there is one in on the, the corner, the corner of um, Marple Avenue, next to a uh, James Aha, sí. ¿Cómo se llama? Jameson Hotel. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I heard two prepositions. Le escuché dos preposiciones, in, on. Sí. Okay, sí. so if you're talking that it is on the, the corner of, on, on the, corner. the corner of, next to. On the to, corner of, mm -hmm. okay. next to. Sí, pero no me puede decir it's in on. Ahí sí no. Ah, oh, ok. Ok. Ok, Thank you. ok. And the last one. Sí. Number three. Is there a public library here, near here? Yes, there is. Is it one on the close to on gas station? There, There is one. Is there one gas station? Uh -huh. There is, because you're giving an affirmative answer, está dando una respuesta afirmativa. Entonces ahí ya vamos con there is. There okay. is one close to gas station. Okay, excellent. Um, uh, siempre se va a poner on my street no. on First Avenue. No, porque no. ella no es la primera avenida. Ah, ok. Solo es la calle principal. Ok. Ok. Ok, so I will need you to take a picture of your homework and send it to me, please. 
so I can make the corrections. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Janet. I hope you can get better soon. Okay. Este, entonces me retiro, teacher. Vaya, pero antes de eso, escoja otro de sus compañeros, por favor. Okay. Este. Mm, Jocelyn. Okay. Uh, ¿Cuál de las dos, Jocelyn? Uh, Marroquín. Okay. Thank you. So let's continue with you, Jocelyn. Okay. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Janet. Good night. Bye -bye. I hope you can get better. Okay. Thank you. Good evening. Teacher. Hi, good evening, Jocelyn. So let's see your examples. Can you tell us three of them, please? Um Tengo que describirla. Acabo de entrar, Tichina, así que no sé qué estaba haciendo. Este, uh, estamos tengo que la tarea. Uh, okay. ok, este... Tengo que describir este, las partes, o sea... ¿Dónde quedan los lugares, verdad? Uh, remember that you need to make, first of all, a question using is there or are there, and then you need to tell us the answer. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Vamos a ver. Top, top shoes next to the Parker's Burger. ¿Cómo? Drugstore. Drugstore. Okay. No alcanza a ver bien la letra. Drugstore. Ok, let me see if I can um, make. Ok. Um, Aquí. Fears. Gas station on Fields Avenue. En and, and next to the post office. Next to the post office or across from? Uh, across post office. Um, let me see. Ah. The park is between the Fields National Bank and Grocery Mom and Pops. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jocelyn, can you choose another person, please? Um, um, Verónica. Okay, Verónica. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Verónica. Hi. Oh, que voy a hacer, teacher, no entendido. Ok, remember that we are making questions using is there or are there, depending on the place that you're looking for, if it is singular or plural, and then you're telling us where that place is or if there is or if there are, and if it's next to, between, on, on the corner of, and so on. For example, um, I can ask you, is there a gym near here? Um, no, teacher. Okay, you can see that here we have a gym. Thank you. Mm 
Okay. Sorry, no. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, no, no. Okay, so let's listen to another of your classmates. And then you're going to tell us one example, okay? So we're going to have Edwin. Good evening. Good evening, Edwin. Okay. And I'm at the park or a square. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, is there electronic store near here? Yes, there is. It is behind post offices on First Avenue. Okay, excellent. Let's see your second example. Okay. Uh, let me see. There are there there is a public library near here. There is yeah. or is there? Sorry, sorry. Is there <laughs> is there a public library near here? Yes, there is. It's next to gas station on my street. Excellent. Street. And the last example. Okay. There are hotels near here? There are or are there? Are there. Okay. I forget. Are there hotels near here? No, there are, but the corner of Pine Street and Maple Avenue, it is the King Plaza Hotel. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, Edwin, one more person, please. Let me see. Walter Rivera. Okay, Walter, tell us your examples, please. At least three of them. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay. Um, here's, uh, I am um, in the corner of the corner uh, L Street. Okay. On no, Maple Avenue. Okay. All right. Um, yes, exactly. Um, is there some gene near here? And the uh, answer is no, there isn't, but it is between of post office and today's department store. Okay, thank you. Okay. Next, um, is there an electronic store near here? No, there isn't. The electronic store is behind a post office. Behind the post office, okay. And the last one? The last one is, are there, are there a hotel near here? Are there hotels or some hotels 
-huh. Okay. And the rest says, yes, there are two hotels near here. In fact, next to France cafeteria, there is one. And across the map or stream, there is another. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, so what I need you to do is to take a picture of your questions and answers and send it to me, okay? Because I need to check that and make corrections, okay? Necesito que me manden la, la foto de su tarea, ¿verdad? Para los que la hicieron y los que no la hicieron tienen hasta las diez y media de ahora, ¿verdad? Ok. Okay. Okay, excellent. So let's continue. Is that topic clear for you or do you have questions? ¿Está claro o tienen preguntas? Creo que la tarea ayudaba a entenderlo un poco mejor. Correcto. Yes, yes. Okay, excellent. Sí, más que todo lo que es la estructuración de Remember that that's something that we studied yesterday. For example, we said if I have there, yeah, sorry, there is a hotel near here. This is an affirmative sentence. Now, into question, I'm going to change the position of the verb be and there. So it's going to be like this is there a hotel near here and i'm going to add a question mark so if i have another question or another sentence like this there are two restaurants two restaurants next to Let me see, there are two restaurants next to the gas station. Okay. Okay. It is going to be the same. I'm just going to change the position of the verb be, and it's going to be like this. Are there, you can say two or some restaurants, next to the gas station an affirmative answer would be yes there are yes there are, there are. and negative no. yes there are no, no there are uh -huh. <laughs> yeah be careful with that no pueden decir si no o, o no si okay with the first one, <laughs> affirmative answer. Yes, there is. Okay, yes, there is. Negative? No, there is. Oh, no, there is. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Okay. That is, those are short answers. Son respuestas cortas, pero yo les dije que necesitaba que ustedes fueran usando lo que son las preposiciones. So, for example, no, there isn't, but you can find one next to uh, behind for example or etc y ya ustedes van diciendo los demás verdad okay the same there are two restaurants next to the gas station you can say no there aren't but uh, there are some across from next to y así sucesivamente, ok? Eso es lo que iban a realizar ustedes, esa era la tarea. So, excellent for the ones that did it, perfecto para los que la hicieron. Para los que aún han tenido dificultad, pues ahí tenemos lo que es un pequeño ejemplo. Sí, necesito que me manden esa información. Ok. Walter, sí, yes. Eh, una pregunta con, no sé si íbamos a usar ahí el son y el any. Sí. 
yes, you can use some and any as well. So, for example, yeah. here, instead of saying two, um, uh -huh. I can say there are some restaurants, or I can ask, are there any restaurants? Y es correcto. Okay. Eh, eh, mi pregunta va más, más enfocada a eso que acaba de hacer, porque según yo tengo algo así entendido que el ENI se usa más en, en negativo, ¿no? En negativos y en preguntas. Ajá. Ok. Ah, ya. Bueno, ok. Está. Ajá. Hello. Hello, es Verónica. Yo no puedo estar ayer... Eh, yo no estuve ayer, me perdí con respecto a la tarea. Es toda la sección 3. Uh, no, es parte, ya le digo, permita. La de que estábamos repasando. Sí, permítame dónde está, acá. Vaya. Ayer comenzamos lo que es la sección 3 y nos quedamos, mm. quiero ver... En la sección 3.3, there is, there are, one, any, and some. ¿Ok? Y como acá sale lo que es un pequeño mapa que es el que les estaba compartiendo, les había mm -hmm. dicho a sus compañeros, porque sí, yo necesito que vayan practicando también, ¿verdad? Que les quedaba de tarea, que usaran preguntas usando el is there o are there, como se puede ver acá, ¿verdad? A, ah, near here, yes there is, or no there isn't. Yes there is, there is one next to the gas station. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí igualmente estamos viendo lo que son las preposiciones del lugar. O sea, es un repaso más que todo. Y en eso consistía y, la tarea. Y esa, ok, y, ¿y esa la vamos a agregar al WhatsApp o cómo se la vamos a enviar? Ah, sí, o sea, yo les decía que le tomaran okay, una... O sea, ya, yo ya la hice, pero no entiendo. Ah, ok, no se preocupe. Solo le toma una foto a su tarea y me la manda al grupo de WhatsApp o al WhatsApp personal. Y yo ahí se la voy a estar revisando. Ahí le voy a hacer las correcciones y se la voy a enviar. Ok. Ok. okay. Another question. No. Oh. Sí, teacher. Ajá. Este, eh, la tarea se va a entregar, así como el ejemplo que acaba de dar. Sí. Eh, siempre poniendo yes y yes. Se me olvidó. Yes there are. Y luego poniendo el negativo. No. Ahí puede ser o afirmativa o negativa. Ok, cualquiera de las dos. Yo les daba ahí las dos opciones, pero si ustedes me ponen yes there is, necesito que también me expliquen dónde está. So, for example, yes there is, it's next to, or it's across from, it's between, or it's on, y así sucesivamente. Y si van a decir que no, no there isn't, but there is one next to, there is one in front of, y así sucesivamente, ok? Oh, okay. es, esas tienen que ser las que nosotros decimos entonces. O sea, las que ustedes las deciden. De... Oh, yeah. Sí, les había dicho que eran seis. Oh, okay. Sí, solamente okay. son seis y es con el mapa que está siempre en el video mm -hmm. o que de igual manera se mm -hmm. les compartió en el grupo del WhatsApp. En la siguiente. Oh, okay. yo me voy a abrir más. Ok. Bueno. Ok. Okay, so uh, in your case, if you want, you can send me the information tomorrow. Me puede enviar eso mañana para que no se vaya ahí a, a depelar, ¿verdad? Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, ¿y hasta qué hora dijo ahora que se podía enviar? 10.30. Es que yo lo hice, pero solo hice 5, entonces tengo que terminar la otra, por eso. Ah, okay. Ok, excelente. Okay. You're welcome. Another question. No. No. Ok, so we're going to continue. And the next part 
that we have is a conversation that says it's pretty safe. Uh, I'm going to be explaining another thing to you today, and I hope that it can't be so confusing. Solo espero que no lo vaya a confundir más, ¿verdad? I hope so. And if so, please let me know. Okay? If you have questions, let me know. Si tienen preguntas, háganmelo saber. Okay? So let's begin with the conversation first, okay? In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, so you can see that there we have that conversation. There aren't many parking. Okay, and also you can listen that we are making questions using there is and there are. And there is another thing that I'm going to be explaining before. Sorry, later, okay? So let's see, do I have volunteers to practice the conversation? Me. Thank you, Jocelyn. And we have Veronica. So let's begin. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It, it is the fun, so it's very convenient. Convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Noisy? Oh, oh no, there isn't any. I live on the five floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? I love, in fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking guards, but in usually in a place of the street. Is there much crime? No, it is pretty safe. Oh no, thanks. My car alarm in car. I'll call you. I'll call you back later. Later. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now you girls. Um, can you choose two different people, please? Edwin. Okay, Edwin and Okay, Edwin and whom else? Okay, so we're going to have Edwin and Stephanie. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. This downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't. They aren't. I'm sorry. <laughs> they aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. <laughs> Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, hold on. That is my car alarm. 
I call you back later. Okay, thank you. So now you choose two different people, please. Chains. Choose two different people. Escojan a dos compañeros más. Ah, okay. Um... Giselle. Okay, Giselle ah. and... Abigail Portillo. Okay, thank you. So let's listen to you, girls. Okay. How do you look, how do you like your new apartment? Giselle. Uh, Giselle, can you hear us? Sorry, Giselle, we cannot hear you. Okay, um, so we're going to have Lillian. Okay, empiezo de nuevo. Please. Okay. okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There's, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants yeah. are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I called you back later. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. So you can see that this is a short conversation that we have. And you can see that we have here a question. Is there much noise? Then we have the answer that says not, there isn't any. Uh, we have another question using there are. How many restaurants are there near your place? So you can see that the answer is a lot. Then we have, um, let me see, another question that says, is there much crime? No, it says it's pretty safe. Okay, so you can see that here we're using the same structure that we were studying yesterday. There is and there are, but in question. I mean, is there or are there? Do you have any question? No? no? No. Okay, so I'm going to move to the next video that it's about quantifiers. So today we are going to be talking about quantifiers in English. So let's pay attention to it. And please let me know if you can listen. There's a lot of street crime. Sorry. We can say that when now view. In this session we will take a hello to all of you. In this session we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. 
No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. No. Okay, so you can see here that we are talking about quantifiers and we have the following questions, how many and how much. So basically the difference that we have with how many and how much is, let's see, um, let me see, who can I ask? Edwin. Okay. What's the difference between how many and how much? I under I understand that uh, how many is um, countable. Okay. And, and how much? How much? Incountable. In no countable. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Edwin. So as Edwin okay. said, we are going to use how many with countable nouns. So now my next question is, what are countable nouns, Giselle? Hola. What are Hi. countable nouns? We can hear me you. Sí. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I repeat you can repeat please yes what are countable or count nouns se que si cuáles son los contables yes. dice okay este puede sería como algo que nosotros le podemos poner una cantidad o sea que sabemos más o menos for example eh, um, many restaurants, okay. uh, many uh, people, okay. oh, a lot of people, oh, many um, trees, okay, trees, um, trees, okay. Um, so yeah, um, any, any girls. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Giselle. So let's see, Susan, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, Susan, what about non count nouns or uncountable nouns? What are they? Do we have Susan? I think we do. Hmm, me acuerdo que la había visto. So, Monica, can you answer that question, please? I will I speak. Ah, okay. Please do it. Entiendo que much se utiliza cuando estamos hablando de un sustantivo, pero en términos de singular. Ok, de singular. ¿Y qué más? Y para cosas que no se pueden contar, que no, no podemos contar. Por ejemplo. Mm, a, a lot of people. Mm. Can I count people? Yes. Okay. A lot of 
the water. Ah, okay, water. What else? Las hojas de un árbol. Okay. The, well, tree leaves. What else? Um, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Excellent. No, no sé qué más decir. <laughs> yeah, you can, for example, another one that is uncountable, uh, the example that we have there is crime. El crimen, nosotros no lo podemos contabilizar, ¿verdad? Um, sugar. Um, let me see. The stars. The stars, yes. Those are another. Um, let's see. The sand. La arena. It's another one that we cannot count. And we also have juice. Our the hair. salt. Okay, excellent. So you see? On the have... sugar. I yes. don't know. Sugar, milk, salt, milk, excellent. Um, butter, butter, yes. Butter. Okay. Excellent, Jocelyn. Yes. Yeah, so those are some examples of non-count nouns. Okay. Son algunos ejemplos de nombres no contables. Okay. So let's go back to the information that we have here. So you can see here that the sent the questions are recessed. Are there many restaurants? You can say yes, there are a lot, or yes, there are a few, or if the answers are negative, um, Monica, can you read them please? Yes. Um Los negativos, dijo. Yes, please. Okay. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. Okay, thank you. Um, okay. Let me see. We're going to have right now um, Delia. Can you read the information that we have here? Noun count nouns, please. Delia? Sorry, teacher. Okay, can you read the information that we have here for non count nouns, please? Okay, tenían todos, verdad? So, solo la pregunta y las afirmativas. Okay. Um, is there, yes, there is a lot. Yes, there is a little. No, there isn't much. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Delia. So we're going to have Esperanza. Can you read the negative answers, please? No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there, there's no. Okay, excellent. And the last one, Abigail, can you read the two examples that we have at the bottom, please? Um, no, those. Yes. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. Okay, thank you. So you can see that here we have the quantifiers that we are studying that are a lot, a few, many, any, and none. And these, as you can see, are going to be used with count There nouns. isn't any. Sorry. And the ones that you can see here, a lot, a little, much, any, and none, are going to be used with non-count nouns or uncountable nouns, okay? So here we have the information that I was just explaining to you before, the quantifiers. So we have count nouns quantifiers and non-count nouns quantifiers. So let me see, 
Jocelyn Larin, can you read that information, please? Which count, count. or yes. no count? Count. Okay. Count nouns quantifiers. A lot, a few, many, any, none. Thank you. Can you choose another person, please? Mm, Douglas. Okay, Douglas. Douglas? Do we have Douglas here? I don't see him. Can you choose another person, please? Okay, Veronica, thank you. No count quantifier. A lot, later, much, any, no. And none. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you can see that these are some quantifiers that we are going to be using. Okay, so give me just a few seconds. Esos son algunos quantifiers que nosotros vamos a estar usando in English. So now I need you to tell me if you have questions. No. no. Is everything clear? Miss. Uh huh. Yo tengo una duda. Es que solo, solo que el vi algo ahí que me pareció curioso. Uh -huh. eh, en la parte que estábamos viendo los ejemplos de negativos. Uh -huh. en, en el último noté cuando estaban non, eh, que el ar queda así, ar, no queda con el ar. Ok. No sé, no sé si... Ajá, and why do you think that is that? ¿Por qué cree que es eso? Mm, I don't know. Okay, the reason why we have none here, we're, we're not using aren't none, es porque none significa ninguno. Uh -huh. Okay, y aquí yo ya estoy negando. No, no hay ninguno. Okay. Entonces aquí el verbo to be me va a quedar de manera afirmativa. Igualmente acá, si usted se da cuenta, no there's none. ¿Ok? Porque aquí estamos diciendo que no hay, es decir, que no existe. ¿Ok? Yeah, yeah. Lo mismo pasa con lo que es never, el adverbio de frecuencia. Nunca. ¿Ok? Ustedes no, no dicen en inglés no never. No nunca. ¿Ok? So the same happens here, ¿ok? Que va a quedar así el verbo, en este caso el verbo to be, de manera afirmativa, pero How much? Sorry, usamos el non porque ya este me da a entender que es completamente negativo, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Perfect. You're welcome. Any other question? No. Okay, so this is just for you to see the difference between few and little or a few and a little. So let's see, we're going to have Abigail. Can you read the first chart, please? Okay, few, girls, plural, con Countable nouns. Countable. A few. Countable nouns. A few plus plural countable nouns. Little plus uncountable nouns. A little plus uncountable nouns. Thank you. Um, okay, Abigail, can you choose another person, please? Uh, yes. 
Let me see. Um, Sandra. Okay, Sandra, can you read this information, please? Okay, not many. Not known, nearly known. Some, a small amount. Not much, not known, nearly known. Some, a small amount. Okay, thank you. So you can see that here we have the difference between few a few, little, and a little. And as we watched on the video, the difference is that we are going to use few with plural countable nouns and a few with plural countable nouns. And they mean, for example, in this case, we have not many, not enough, and nearly no. Okay, and a few, we have that is some or a small amount. Okay, so we have few pocos, es decir, no muchos, no suficiente. A few, es decir, algunos, una pequeña cantidad. Then we have little, que es uncountable nouns, and a little uncountable nouns, okay? Basically, you can see that they are the same, and the difference is that we have plural nouns, sorry, plural uncountable nouns, and uncountable nouns. So... Let's see the following information. Um, let's see, another volunteer. We, Thank you, Jocelyn. Again. Which? Larin, Jocelyn Larin. No, 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 which? Ah, sorry. This part, few, not many. Oh, few, not many. Few normally conveys a negative idea. He has few good friends. Negative idea, not enough. Few people went to the concert. There are few honest politicians. 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 Okay, okay thank you. Thanks. Another volunteer? Esperanza. Okay. <clears throat> little, no much. Little normally conveys a negative idea. There was little time to finish it. Negative idea, nearly no time. He has little patience with Patient. others. Passion. Passion. They have little money to spend. Okay, thank you. So you can see that here we have few, that equals not many, and little, that equals, equals sorry, not much. Okay? Here it says that few conveys a negative idea. Okay? The same happens with little. So the examples, he has few good friends, meaning not enough. Es decir, que él no tenía suficiente buenos amigos. Sí, me voy acá, ¿ok? He has few good friends. Él tenía pocos buenos amigos. Few people went to the concert. ¿Ok? Pocas personas fueron al concierto. There are few honest politicians. Hay pocos políticos honestos. ¿Ok? And if you can see, with I, when I have many, as Edwin said, it's because I can count them. Ok, estoy hablando de sustantivos contables. ¿Puedo contar los buenos amigos? Yes. Ok, can I count people? Yes. Ok, and yes. can I count politicians or honest politicians? Yes. Yes, right? Ok. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Probably you can use none, right? Aquí usaríamos tal vez el none. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's move to little, meaning not much, okay? Es decir que aquí estamos usando 
nombres contables o no contables? No contables. Okay, excellent. Non-countable nouns. So we have, there was little time to finish it. Okay, can I count time? No. ¿Puedo contar? Okay. He has little patience with others. La paciencia, ¿la puedo contar? No. Okay, no, I can't. They have little money to spend. Money, can I count it? No. Okay. So you can see here the difference between few and little. Is this clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. And you girls? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And the last thing, we have a few, that means some, and a little, that means some, and as they say, they are for a small amount. So let's see, um, let me check. Walter, can you read the first information, please? Thank you. Yes. Okay. A uh, few equal some a uh, small amount. A few normally conveys a positive idea. He has a few friends that we had positive idea a small amount. I had a few days of next month. She has a room a few hours. Okay, thank you. And Stephanie. Okay, a little, some, a small amount. A little normally convey a positive idea. I have a little meal you can use. Positive, positive idea, a small amount. She has a little time to relax now. I have earned, earned, I don't know earned. what is pronunciation. Earned. Errand, 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 errand. Okay. I have earned a little extra money. Okay, thank you. Um, Stephanie, can you choose another person, please? Okay. And... There we Okay, Edwin, in your own words, how would you explain this? En sus propias palabras, ¿cómo nos explicaría esto? In Spanish, please. Okay. <laughs> um, es como decir, referirse a... Por ejemplo, en el primero que dice, he has a few friends that will help. Él tiene pocos amigos que le pueden ayudar. Ok. Este, ahí entiendo que es eh, en forma positiva, como dice, positive idea, pero refiriéndose a pocos. Ok. ¿Y lo puedo contar o no lo puedo contabilizar? Yes, it's contable. Ah, ok. Excelente. What about the second example? I have a few days off next month. El Do you know? Uh -huh, sorry, go ahead. Que tiene pocos días libres. Day off. Uh, días días libres. libres. Yes. Okay. It's similar because. Uh, a few, it is reference a uh, small. Okay, and I can count as and well. It, uh -huh, yes, it's countable. Okay, excellent. Um, Edwin, choose another person, please. Okay. Sandra? Okay, Sandra, what about the next one? 
a little. How would you explain it in your own words? Eh, son pocas cosas de lo que no se pueden contar. Ah, ok. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, eh, la leche, el tiempo. Ajá, uh -huh. and money. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, excellent. Bueno. Vaya, ¿está claro eso? ¿O ¿Tienen alguna duda, pregunta? No questions? Yo. Mm, uh Ajá. -huh. Um, es que. Ajá, no, no termino de entender. O sea, sí entiendo que son contables a lo de a few, en few, um, no contables lo de little. Pero este, los puedo usar, digamos, a few, en few, representando lo mismo, digamos, así. Va, Porque permita. según lo que vi ahí el significado es otro. Va, permítame, vamos, again. Okay. So here it is. Okay. So I'm going here. Me voy acá. So you can see we have con los nombres contables o sustantivos contables, los que yo voy a utilizar son los siguientes. A lot, a few, many, any, and none. Okay. Y con los no contables voy a usar a lot, a little, much, any, and none. ¿Ok? Otra cosa que se mencionaba es que cuando yo estoy hablando de nombres no contables, siempre voy a usar lo que es el singular. Singular. ¿Ok? I cannot use plural. ¿Ok? No puedo usar lo que es plural. Solamente voy a utilizar lo que es el singular. ¿Ok? So, if I go back to the presentation here, ¿Lo pueden ver? No. Do you see it? No. No. Okay, so it is here. Okay. Okay, sorry. Vaya, tengo acá lo que es few and a few. Y como lo dice, ¿verdad? Es decir, que el primero few, es decir, no son muchos o no es suficiente, y a few es algunos o una pequeña cantidad, ¿ok? So I have few, not many, es decir, que acá few me indica lo que es una idea negativa. En cambio, a few estoy hablando de lo que es una idea positiva. The same happens mm. with little, okay. que es una idea negativa, and a little, que es una idea positiva, ¿ok? So we have There was little time to finish it. Por ejemplo, ustedes me, me digan con el examen. There was little time to finish it. O sea, había poco tiempo para terminar el, el examen. O sea, es una idea negativa. Ahora bien, si ustedes me quieren decir que tuvieron bastante tiempo para hacerlo o que el tiempo para ustedes fue suficiente, por decirlo así, um, you can tell me, um, I have a little time to finish it. Ok, yo tuve algo de tiempo, por decirlo así, un poco de tiempo para terminarlo. Why? Because probably you studied. Probablemente usted estudió, pero ahí me está diciendo que es una idea positiva. En cambio acá, usando little, estamos hablando de que es una idea negativa. That's basically the difference. Am okay. I... I can. Ok, not a problem. Um, ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Están listos para el midterm de mañana entonces? Yes, excellent. Vaya, otra cosa que... Una pregunta al respecto. 
Ajá. Okay. Este, el, el examen lo vamos a hacer aquí con usted o con nosotros en, en la plataforma aparte. Vaya, generalmente, o sea, lo resolvemos acá, ¿verdad? Pero tengo siempre estudiantes que ya van más avanzados. No sé si hubo o si fue de aquí que alguien me dijo que ya había terminado todo el módulo, que ya había hecho hasta la sección 5 y todo. Ok. Pues, pero siempre lo resolvemos acá. Ok. Si ustedes lo hacen ahora en la noche, pues perfecto. O si gustan hacerlo hasta mañana, que estemos acá todos reunidos, pues no hay problema. Ok. Lo único que sí, necesitamos que para el fin de semana o el día lunes, ya todos hayan completado hasta la sección 3. ¿Ok? Porque lunes iniciamos ya lo que es la sección 4. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, ¿any other question? No. My, my question is about the middle uh, test, but I see it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent. Not a problem. Okay. So if there are no more questions, okay. we will stop here and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank al grupo, ahí se los dejo a decisión de ustedes. Ahí sí veo que hay alguien que dijo yo, yo les aviso, ¿verdad? No, pues. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night, Bye. 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 B